What's going on everybody? My name is Tenebris Infinite and welcome back to Traps with Tenebris. Today is day seven and we're going to be covering another kind of multi-purpose trap. This is primarily an EMP trap, but you do get a little bit of damage out of this. The idea I had behind this trap was simply creating a very large area of effect EMP using simple materials that you can gain in the beginning of the game. So we're going to be using a gas tank and some car batteries for this trap. Uh, we've got a couple machines outside, so let's go off, set this trap up, and kind of show it in action before we show off a couple more examples here. If we play our cards right in this situation, we might even be able to get the tank to kind of set off this trap for us. So the setup for this trap is pretty simple. All it takes is four car batteries, place them out in a square shape, put your ignition source, the explosive gas tank, right in the middle here, and then you pop down a lure of some sort to bring in the enemies, or you could just wait for the enemies to come to your location. So let's put that down right there. Second. There, there we go. That guy goes down easy. I did manage to hit the tank. I in the worst way, but as I've said in other videos, when traps go awry, you just kind of have to roll with it. I'll have a couple examples in this video of this trap perfectly though, so definitely stay tuned for that. Man, <laughs> this tank is in a really bad spot, but I think I'll be able to work it out. Take out the caps here, real easy. me on edge, but I think this tank's going to go down. Go. Now let's deal with this last guy. So here's a great little clip just showing off the huge area of effect that you can actually obtain from this EMP.
So from this clip, I figured out that with Fennec enemies, uh, you're probably going to want to go to a much stronger gun than your assault rifle for the initial damage that you're doing. So go for your 50 cal, the experimental 50 cal, or any other sniper rifle or shotgun, and you'll be able to have a little bit of a better time springing this trap on Fennec hunters at least. And here just showing that it is much more effective to use that sniper rifle uh, and I think that this was the best scenario that I got at least for my recorded footage for uh, springing this trap on enemies uh, it can give you the opportunity to create a whole bunch of damage to the enemies that you have currently deactivated in the area So there you guys go, a pretty excellent little trap, very easy to obtain these materials in the beginning of the game, and it's got a lot of purpose. Uh, even though EMPing Fennec's enemies is sometimes not the best approach due to the fact that they recover from EMPs pretty quickly, it's still a great opportunity for you to set up a combat situation, in which case you'll be able to deal with it a little bit more properly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Until then, peace.